and we are using just kurati houses. In the year 2000, that is when Buhuma 
received the first construction of Ionisi, and it is the same building that was blown off. Now, Satan was not happy that in the year 2020, I mean 2011, the same building which we were given, in fact it was blown off by air again, I mean by wind again. Then parents came in and renovated that same building. In 2019, I mean in 2013, we received four more classes, which are these ones, as you can see them. From there, in fact, the woman became, became on the map. In the year 2019, that is when COVID-19 broke up. In fact, the number of our people reduced from 1,000 to 830. Because some were not crossing the to Buhuma because of the broken bridge down there. What a sad note. On that day, like the Madame Matis is saying, on the 17th of December 2022, that day may never be remembered as the Bible says. This is the, the time when we came and destroyed our building. And as administrators, we tried to see that. We called the parents and they came in, they started helping us and we relocated in the two classrooms. And we remained within the two classrooms that have helped us. And then 11th of July 2023, when the rain came, in fact, the teachers transferred the pupils to that kitchen. And this prompted me as a speaker. I said, no, I should post this to the internet. I took the videos, I took it to, on, on WhatsApp, then this one prompted very many Ugandans. And of which I'm very happy that the Teddy Foundation has become our partner here. And I say, may God bless you very much. Before you are coming here to school, Buma Primary School, our test of honor, may you allow me to tell you some of the few challenges that you have been undergoing. One, we have no teacher supporters. We have been given teachers from very far, but because of the distances, they just request for transfers and, and they go away without our notice. So we request, maybe if God wishes, through your powers, may you stand with us. And we have at least two or three teacher supporters. This is school, as you can see the pupils, this is our playing ground. But we always try to go out and compete. But sometimes we only go to participate, but not to compete, because we don't have a playing ground. But there are some parents around who have the field, but they need to manage. But as a school, we are just often. Number three, source of income to motivate the teachers. Our dear partner, the Ketty Foundation. A young poor teacher like I, you may see me dressed like this and you think that maybe I'm fine. But the way I suffer to get even this child, even a peasant farmer, is far better than me. I earned 4,000, I mean 400,000 shillings. But I went for multiple loans. You find that I spent that money within a period of one week and I'm to pay that loan for a period of six years. Now leaving me a poor teacher coming here day and night. In fact, it is very bad. So we request that if you can start with us, as teachers, at least we have a circle here that can help us to, to borrow. Then we go back. In fact, it will, I mean, we will return some small interest. That can help us as teachers here. That is our kind request to get the foundation. Before the wind blew, the classes, the school was having the following challenges. One, reduction in the population as the result of the broken bridge connecting Buma Primary School to Mubutu. Many children, as I told you, come from the other sub-county, and now this became a problem, so they had to transfer themselves to other schools, the nearby schools, and those young ones moving longer distance became a problem, so others were transferred. That was a challenge. Two, some pupils fell sick due to the harsh conditions of too much sunshine, that is a direct sunshine, some of, the, of them fell sick. And there is a delay of classes. The six children come, could come out to pass, remove the water. That is mainly during the rainy season. So this one has resulted in two low coverage, I mean, I mean low curriculum coverage. Automatically, that one affects the performance of the learner. The school administrators or the school administration could not carry out the routine supervision due to poor classroom environment. Teachers were trying very much to at least make sure that they put up to make the classroom environment conducive, but sincerely speaking, they would not make it. So that was also a, a, a big problem. And 
there was no privacy. Since teachers, by the way, we're having, we're having very, we're having like two centers being shared by the teachers and the pupils. So there was no privacy. And some children would just go blind there in the bush to ease themselves. Supposing they were bitten by a snake. So that one was a challenge, but we thank God that at least he has answered our prayers. There are many challenges, but at least we tried to mention. We have bought some children's shoes. We heard that some. That's a good one. We have brought 100 boxes of shoes for you. We have some here you give them. We have bought 100 boxes of books for you. Some are already here, but others are in the way. And we have bought 10 boxes of pens for you. Some are already here, and as usual, others are coming. Uh, we have bought also 10 boxes of pencils. And we have bought you country park. <laughs> as he has been in this region of Ergon several times. Sometimes we are in Mulamburi. We send people from Mulamburi. Now this time we are in this district. We send people so we have been always here in, 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 in. Now, our chairman, Mr. Kedi Steven. Steven. When we went to the people of Landsides there, they had a big problem of poverty. And the lands were sliding against their, their lives. So he gave money for the in this region, one million dollars. One million dollars. One million. Okay, to go a million. Three, three point seven billion shillings. There is also a big problem in this part of Oregon on the side of education. And the Mr. Honorable, the Ken, this, the Honorable is the CEO, the founder of Ken Foundation. He decided to donate 1.2 million dollars. 4.44 billion shillings. <laughs> and that money is to help all schools in a bad shape like this one. <laughs> that money will go through the lo local leaders of all the districts in this Elegon region. They will pay that money and they use it specifically for school. Another thing, Mr. Honorable has donated 10 million shillings for the circle of the future.
Allow me half of Cape Foundation to stand up. This man's web TV. And his own sister, his own the biggest celebrity in Kampala. He called me and introduced himself as Andrew Chamagero. I said, Yes, sir, I know you. And he said, We have a cause. That we need to talk about. There is a school in Ericon region. The roof was blown away. The children are studying under the sun. And he sent me the grip. I told him, please, you hurry up now. now. And he said, Mr. Owner, I will come tomorrow. So when he came together as guesting, this was a very touching story to me. I acted immediately. I asked him how much money is needed. He told me nine million. I said the money is now. Come and pick it. And he came. And I gave him the money and other things. And that's how the work has been done. I want each and every one to thank Andrew Jamagero and we are an organization that does in the area of relief and disaster, education, and other things. That's why Mr. President talked about the landslide in Rambo. We went there, and that's why we have come here. Today, I want to thank the headmistress. Madam headmistress, you also come here. And for us to be here today. Thank you for being a parent. We really appreciate you. I have a lot to say. But for me today, I'm also the things Mr. President has spoken. But our aim is having humanity and changing people's lives. We decided not to sit wait for the government because the government has a lot of things And right now, I'm calling upon all people in this region and the entire Uganda that even you, you can help somebody. It does not mean that you have money. But the little you have, you can come and donate to this school. There are many companies outside there, especially in Uganda here. I'm told Rupin is also coming. We have very many companies like Santa Lepaz. Soft care. Soft care, big fair, all companies, please. Come and be part of Guma Primary School. In the you can also do something. You can change the community. I'm happy to uh, tell you that. Look at the foundation. The issue of the circle, uh, Mr. President has already talked about. The that has been uh, upraised for the teachers of this school. I thought that this man This man is saying that uh, even, even buying a shirt as a teacher. It's a type of so through this circle, you will be able uh, to borrow money and then, and then you are able to buy shirts. I've also been told that there is a bridge. Actually, they are going to take me there. There is a bridge down there where most of the kids 
come from. It was washed away. As the Kedi Foundation, we are going to, to be in touch with the government, especially with the district authorities here, and we see how we can help. Because that's the responsibility of government. We cannot just go and say we are going to do it without the permission of government. But we shall work in hand, hand in hand together with the district authorities. And we see how we can work on that Such that our children grow and come and study. They are right here. And the, the headmistress will be the one Mama, the headmistress will do the work. I talked about books. So, books are right here. Books are right here. I told you these are just samples. Many are still coming. I talked about the pens. The pens, you have them here. And you will get them. These are t-shirts. <laughs> and the blue t-shirt. Landslide, education, and let me see. As the Kedi Foundation, together with our international partners, they have sent you greetings. We are international partners. They are willing to support the entire region of Bukis in the area of education. There are many other schools who are more worse than this, but they don't have attention. They don't have somebody to at go and also come to TV. But the local leaders around here know those schools. So as the Kedi Foundation, together with our international we have decided that the entire region of, of Erigon, the entire region, issues affecting with education, uh, buildings, edifice bridges, whatever. We are going to use this money. Not today, mark my word, not today. Last time when we were in Bulamburi, and we made a pledge, the district leaders started fighting us, because they thought we have left that money there. So even if this money comes, we shall identify with the communities and NGOs and schools around. They will be the one to help us and then distribute this money to. So this money is going to come not in a uh, in a short period or a longer a longer period, but any time. This donation will come. And when it comes, you will all know, even through media and TV everywhere. Right? But this money is not for it's not for someone to get in his pocket. It's for the issues. For example, if we get another woman school, which has no roof. This man helps to buy the iron sheets, everything, and then it's work. So, so we have come together to give 1.2 million US dollars to the entire Elgon region in the area of education and relief aid. So when this money comes, we shall get in touch together with all the authorities concerned. Because our international partners 
I do not so come. Make sure that this man is delivered. So the Lord also it is here. Don't again call for press conference. Don't seek to fight. And to fight the foundation asking for this money. It's not for yours. It's for the problems affecting the entire Eagle region. In the area of education and relief. Thank you. And then uh, I've also been told that uh, Omana <laughs> Nange mbere tafari kubana ulamu wa wana wana kwa sabi kwa wangu encha leba kule mbeze encha leba kenda ukula foundation nzimba nga wizit wana nange na alimu wako na kuli la masumuro gati gama wako wakati mbele angeno mkula nange nga ndi part of them wakati nga ino kweta wa mbele eno nchiso ulamu wawe nange mbele kuna wakati nga tafari ulamu wawe 